All right, you are welcome again. Today, let's take a look at this question. Find the Laplace transform of f of t equal to sine a t using Laplace transform of derivatives. Now, take a look at this. In some of our previous videos, we treated how to find the Laplace transform of this function f of t equal to sine a t and we used like two methods to find it okay the one we say using first principle and then also using uh, substitution method right good in this video we are going to use a different method and i think this method is quite easier now it's called using the method of Laplace transform of derivatives. Okay, now without wasting much time, please pay attention. Let's do it together. Good. Now let's go. Solution we say let f of t equal to sine a t. Already we know that f of t given to us is what sine a t. Good and fine. Now, what if you know we are talking about using the Laplace transform of derivatives, right? Good. That means we are going to differentiate. So if we find the derivative of this function, f of t, what is it going to give us? So that is when we say the f prime of t. Okay? That is when we differentiate this function. What is it going to give us? It's going to give us a cos a t. That is differentiating with respect to t. All right? Good. So it's going to give us a cos a t. What if we differentiate this again for the second time? That means we're going to say the second derivative of this function, f prime prime of t. What is it going to give us? We are going to have minus a squared sine a t. All right? Good. Now, look at what we have. We have f of t is equal to sine a t. F prime of t is equal to a cos a t, and f prime prime of t is equal to minus a squared sine a t. Good. Let's go properly using Laplace transform of the second derivatives. So the Laplace transform of the second derivative, when we say the Laplace transform of f prime prime of t, what is it? By definition, is given as s squared the laplace of f of t minus s f of zero minus f prime of zero hello so this is by definition the laplace transform of the second derivatives right good now carefully look at this let's just call it equation one we say the laplace transform of the second derivative, f prime prime of t, is equal to s squared, the Laplace transform of f of t, minus s, f of 0, minus f prime of 0. All right? Good. Now, look at this. In this place now, we need to find what is f of 0 and f prime of 0. Okay? Now, let's go. You know, we have f of t is sine a t. Now, what if we say f of 0? That means in place of t, we write what? Zero. That means we are going to have f of zero is equal to sine zero. So sine zero is going to give us zero. All right? Good. Now, again, we have f prime of t is equal to a cos a t. Now, what if we say f prime of zero? What is it going to give us? We are going to say a cos zero. And cos zero is going to give us what? 1. 1 times a, we have a. So, f prime of 0 is equal to a. All right? Good. Now, let's substitute these values now we have. The f of 0 and f prime of 0. Let's substitute in equation 1. So, substituting, in this place, we will say the Laplace transform of f prime prime of t. What is f prime prime of t? f prime prime of t is minus a squared sine a t. So we write the Laplace of minus a squared sine a t is equal to 
we have n squared, the Laplace of f of t. What is f of t? f of t is sine a t. Good. Then minus s f of 0. So f of 0 is what? Is 0. So we have s, open bracket, 0, minus f prime of 0 is a. Okay? Good. Now look at this. In this first term, we have the Laplace of minus a squared sine a t. Now, let's bring out minus a squared. So when we bring it out, what are we going to have? We are going to have minus a squared, the Laplace transform of sine a t is equal to, we have s squared, the Laplace of sine a t minus a. All right, good. What we do here is this. Please pay attention. We multiply through by minus 1, and then we rearrange. Okay? We multiply everything by negative 1, then we collect light arms and rearrange. Okay? So when we multiply by minus 1 and collect light arms, this is what we're going to have. We're going to have a squared, the Laplace of sine a t plus. You know, this s squared Laplace of sine a t in the right hand side, we take it to the left. You remember, we multiply by negative. So it is in negative form. Why coming now? It will be positive. So we have plus s squared Laplace of sine a t is equal to a. Okay, good. Now look at this. In this case, you know, what we are looking for is the Laplace of sine a t. And in this place, we have. The Laplace of sine a t, then we have coefficient a squared plus Laplace transform of sine a t, coefficient again, s squared. So let's factor out this Laplace transform of sine a t from these two terms. So when we factor this out, this is what we are going to have. In the first time, we are going to have a squared remaining, and then in the second time, we're going to have s squared remaining. Then we have equal to zero. Okay? Good. So what do we do now? We make the Laplace transform of sine a t the subject. So for us to make this the subject, we have to divide both sides by a squared plus s squared, which is the coefficient of this Laplace transform of sine a t. Okay? So when we divide both sides, this is what we have. We are going to have the Laplace transform of sine a t is equal to a all over a squared plus s squared. Hello. So therefore, the Laplace transform of sine a t using the Laplace transform of derivatives, we have a all over a squared plus s squared. All right. Yes. Thank you very much for watching. Please, if you are new to our YouTube channel, do well to subscribe, like, share our videos, and stay blessed. Let's take more examples.